What if the end of the world happened in just 10 minutes? Not in myth, not in prophecy, but for real. It was 66 million years ago. The age of dinosaurs, massive, powerful, unstoppable, was about to end. They didn't know it. No one saw it coming. But the sky was already falling. A rock, 10 kilometers wide, moving at 20 kilometers per second. That's faster than a bullet, faster than anything we've ever built. It's named today the Chiculub Impactor. Named after the crater it left behind, a 180-kilometer scar buried beneath Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. But how do we know all this? Geologists found a thin layer of clay in rocks around the world. That layer was rich in iridium, a metal rare on Earth, but common in asteroids. And in the Gulf of Mexico, they found the crater. Suddenly, the puzzle made sense. This was no local disaster. It was a planetary extinction. Let's talk numbers. The Chicxulub asteroid weighed over a trillion tons. That's more than 1,000 Mount Everests. Hitting the Earth at 20 times the speed of a bullet. The energy of the impact? Around 100 teratons of TNT. That's over a billion Hiroshima bombs all at once. Can you imagine it? The moment it struck, the air itself ignited. A fireball spread across continents. Shock waves flattened forests thousands of kilometers away. Mega tsunamis rose from the oceans. Molten rock rained from the sky. But that was just the beginning. Then came the dust. Billions of tons of sulfur and ash were launched into the stratosphere. The sky went dark. Sunlight faded. Temperatures dropped. This was the original nuclear winter. Photosynthesis stopped. Plants died. Then the herbivores. Then the predators. In just a few years, 75% of all species on Earth were gone, including the dinosaurs, at least the non-avian ones. But wait, what does that mean? It means not all dinosaurs died. Their feathery descendants, the ones we now call birds, survived. And every pigeon, eagle, and hummingbird is a tiny echo of that ancient world. But here's the question. Why did some creatures survive and others didn't? Small mammals made it. Some turtles and crocodiles too. Why? Maybe it was size or habitat or luck. Maybe the ones who lived underground or could eat anything or hide in water had a better chance. Maybe survival wasn't about strength, but adaptation. And here's another question. Could this happen again? Earth is hit by space rocks all the time. Most burn up, some don't. The Chicxulub impactor wasn't the biggest asteroid in the solar system. It was just big enough and fast enough and aimed exactly wrong. So yes, it could happen again, but not today. Probably not in our lifetime. Still, space agencies are watching. Constantly, NASA even ran a mission, DART, to test if we could push an asteroid off course. It worked. That's a good start. But Chicxulub wasn't just an ending. It was a beginning. 
because when the dinosaurs fell, mammals rose. The age of giants gave way to the age of brains. And after 66 million years of chaos, extinction, and slow recovery, here we are. You, me, us. We're here because of a rock, a single moment, a cosmic accident. So what does that mean? Would dinosaurs still rule the Earth if that asteroid had missed? Would humans even exist? Or were we always waiting in the shadows for our chance to rise? Science can measure craters. It can trace atoms. It can explain heat and dust and extinction curves. But it can't answer the biggest question. Was it fate? Or just luck?